Hey, how's it going? My lovely assistant and I are out hiking uh, near Eagle River, Alaska, and I've got my drone with me, uh, packed up in the, the pack here is a, a DJI Phantom Pro 4. And uh, what I think I'm gonna do is when we get home, I'm gonna talk about this backpack, um, and do a quick review on it. This is made, made by uh, Manfrotto. And um, I'm really liking it, so I wanna share it with everybody. I did find a couple of little features that I think could be improved, or just a couple things I wanna point out. So, um, and real quick, while I'm wearing it, uh, you'll notice that on the very back, back here, back there, there's a, there's a pocket that you can unzip, and it's got some internal clips. So you can actually put your drone there. So if you're walking around and you need to get the drone real quick and deploy it, uh, you can just kind of keep it on the external of the pack. I'm using it for my coat, because even though we've got all this snow and everything and it, it's chilly out, we're actually really hot. We've got tons of sun. Uh, it's getting to be springtime here. So there's that. Um, you'll notice I got the little bear spray clipped on here. This is really the only location where you can clip something. There's a couple uh, of attachment points on the back, but they're fairly small and they're down low, so I don't think you want to hang things off the back of your pack. So you could clip something right onto the strap here. And so, um, with that said, like I like I uh, mentioned earlier, we're gonna get back home or something, and then I'll, I'll pull this off and I'll show the interior in full review. All right, or good. moment to get the bag loaded up the way I've normally had it because I have two drones. One of them is the uh, DJI Spark and one of them is the uh, Phantom Pro which I mentioned earlier. So I got them both in here and I think you're going to be really surprised at how many different things you can actually fit into this pack. Um, so what I'll do is just get right into it and kind of show you how I've got it loaded, what features it has, and I'm going to mention I think maybe about three things that could be improved or that you want to look out for. Just Kind of some little gripes on my end, uh, two of which really aren't that important. So uh, first off, uh, the name of the pack fully is the Manfrotto Aviator D1, and you can find it online for like 120 bucks. So the cost is kind of surprising, um, you know, considering all the features. What we've got here um, these zippers. The poles are like really big, and it's kind of like a big plastic loop. I'm not sure if you can see it really well, but it just makes it really easy. To access the bag, especially if you got gloves on, which earlier today we did, I don't have any trouble. Um, so we've got that, and I like to put my controller in the top. You'll see some photos online where they put the controller somewhere in the middle, but as you might already know, the controller's got you know the controls on it, and so if you jam the controller somewhere in the middle, it's always going to get pushed around. So I like to put it in the top so nothing's messing with the controls at all. And I actually have two controllers up here. One of them is for the uh, Spark, and they just kind of keep it in its own little. Uh, fleece bag. We've got the spark controller up in the top, as well as a couple of uh, range extenders for the Phantom Pro, and then the actual Phantom Pro controller. And I just keep my USB cord with it. So the controller sits in there flat. I just like to put it in nice and flat, straight down like that with the uh, antenna towards the back of the pack. And then I get my uh, spark controller kind of sitting on the top with the controllers on either side so they're not being pushed around. Put that up there and then that leaves this compartment empty at this point. Earlier I was talking about the external pocket that you can use to kind of cover up something and carry your drone or you can carry your coat or whatever you need to do. Uh, that's this one right here. And I've still got the clip clipped here. So that comes down, and you've got an internal pouch for that. But with my setup, my internal pouch has the prop guards for the Phantom Pro. Uh, they're kind of an awkward shape, and they're sort of large, so I just put them there. Because if they are right in here, they don't, they don't affect anything with the drone. They're not going to damage the uh, camera on the drone. So I kind of like to have them in that external pocket there. I'm going to close that up. So I can show you, earlier I mentioned the attachment points on the back, that's here. So if you need to strap something else, you can, but by the time you put it here, it's going to be low on the pack, it's hanging further out, so I'm not really sure anybody would want to do that. 
I made a mistake earlier and I, uh, I said that there wasn't really other attachment points on the pack. That's not quite accurate because on the straps right here, you've got sort of some D-rings that you can clip anything you want to. You probably wouldn't want to have something too heavy, but um, a smaller can of, well, I had big bear spray. If I had a smaller can, maybe I would clip it there, but you can do that. And the, uh, for anybody that's into backpacking, uh, you'll recognize how this is set up, the way the straps are and the adjustments at the top. This is, you could really, you could backpack all day long with this thing and keep it comfortable. I did notice that the uh, space between uh, the shoulder straps here was a little bit skinny. So my neck is, is thin and even still I could feel a little bit of pressure on my neck. A really good backpack would have sort of this S-curve shape so that it, it kind of goes around your neck. This doesn't have that, but so that's actually one of my minor gripes. If they would have had a little more space for an S-curve, would have been nice. But it's got all the adjustments you could imagine. Um, the other small gripe I had, though, was that the straps, they're kind of a, a really rough textured, tough strap. So when you go to pull your strap tight, um, I've had other backpacks where you can pull that tight really easily, uh, but, you know, you can pull it tight easily, but it stays locked in place. This one, it's tough to pull, and it does stay locked in place. It's just I don't like that it's hard to pull. So anyway, for whatever it's worth, you can consider that. And let me get into the uh, main compartment here. Again, those big poles on the zipper. And you might be surprised. I'll have to push that a little bit since it's sitting upright. But I actually have a spark right here with this um, battery holder that they sell. Um, this whole unit is it's its own a battery. It's got a battery pack in here. This thing can actually charge your, your drone up and charge multiple batteries. So I've got the spark in here, this whole unit, and then there are two additional battery packs in there as well as the battery pack that's on the drone. So with this, this is all in this pack. You can learn more about this unit somewhere else. I'm not going to get into that. Just want to let everybody know what you can fit in here. And here's the charge cable. Um, for that unit and then we've got the big daddy drone right here the DJI Phantom 4 Pro with its battery mounted in set that aside and then if I can move this a little bit I have two more batteries for the Phantom Pro right here and then each of these compartments it's your call what you want to do with them. I like to keep my Phantom, uh, Phantom 4 accessories in here. So I've got a cable. I've got, um, this is for mounting a larger tablet on your controller. Got that in here. Let me know what's got going on. Some memory cards. Up in the top pocket, I just have the rain cover. There's an entire rain cover that comes with this. So I've got the rain cover for the whole pack. And then in this compartment, I've got some accessories for the Spark, which includes some extra props as well as prop guards with landing gear. Once you put the prop on, you can flip out with a landing gear. Um, that's not the standard prop guard. Uh, I found these as some other aftermarket accessory that I, I liked. And then we're still not finished. I'm getting hot. I'm really hot next to this fire. Anyway, um, in the side pocket here, I've got all the propellers for the uh, Phantom, as well as an extra set. And then in this side over here, I have the battery charger for the Phantom. I'll leave that sitting out. So as you can see, you can fit a ton of gear in this pack. And the big surprise is, I'm not even done yet. There's a side zipper right here. And then there's this little foam guard. Pull that out. And what I actually have is my entire laptop and my tablet. So if I'm just doing some small edits or if I'm using the tablet uh, with the controller, 
then this is what I use to actually fly the Phantom. And if I want to sit down somewhere and get an internet connection and do some video editing, I can flip up the laptop and, and do all my work and post it online, everything. So this whole set allows me to do anything that I want to do, get it done fast, easy, all packed into one bag. So this, this backpack is kind of blowing me away, especially for $120. And I mentioned I had three gripes. I named two of them already. The main gripe that I have is when you put your drone inside, okay, it's in here. This right here is my big gripe. You get this zipped up, and it's really, it's, it's kind of a, a dangerous area for the drone. So if you set this pack down on anything hard, potentially it's going to bash the end of the drone here on both sides. There's no padding down here around the corner. So my suggestion is to either A, be really careful, or B, get some sort of a sock to put over the end of the drone, or an extra piece of foam, or something that has a nice shape to it that'll sit there down in that corner. So then you're not really going to have a problem. So if I was, if, if I was lucky enough to have uh, Manfrotto actually look at this and, and see what I was saying, I, I would hope that they would actually pay attention to that and maybe put a little extra flap of foam in here. That's all they'd have to do, and then nobody would have to risk damaging the drone. But other than that, I really like this thing, and it, it was probably uh, one of the best purchases I've made. So I'm going to leave it at that and let you guys kind of take it for what it's worth. And uh, hopefully it was helpful to uh, somebody. I haven't seen a review on this backpack, um, but it's online. You can get it anywhere. Uh, you'll find it on Amazon. You'll find it on b &H Photo. Basically anywhere that has a large uh, collection of drones and accessories, you'll be able to find this pack. Again, that's the uh, Manfrotto Aviator D1. And with that, I think I'll uh, call it quits for the evening, and hopefully that helped you out. Take care, and enjoy your uh, drone flying. <laughs> and cut. All right, thanks.